and uh, welcome to this week at Hockey at Home. And what we're going to concentrate on is we've done a lot of uh, our guests' technical skills with hockey, but sometimes we forget about the other factors of hockey. So this time we're going to have a look at our vision, hence the sunglasses. So what we're looking at for vision is uh, you'll probably notice that on a hockey pitch um, you may notice players like this who basically have their feet all the way down, head all the way down and don't look up and therefore they're dribbling on their own and they lose the ball. And we want to try and avoid that as best as possible and this is where vision comes into play. And uh, we're just going to do it in a dribbling sense just to start off with. So with vision the idea is to have the head up because what that does is it automatically opens up the pitch and it means that you're not stuck looking down all the time and uh, it means that we're able to make a better decision when we're on a hockey pitch. So this is where uh, this box comes into play. Uh, so what we're going to do is, in theory of vision, uh, the idea is to move between these cones. Uh, this is a similar duel to kind of badminton um, actually. So the idea is to go right corner, left corner, back left corner, back right corner. Um, but the thing is what you can do is you can get uh, someone, if you've got them, to mix it up. So the idea is uh, if that they weren't the same colour, so that was a slipper, uh, that was uh, a ball, then the idea is uh, vision wise to make sure you kind of know where you're going and go from there. It also in this uh, square gives us an idea of uh, areas of space. So for example, if there was more space on the left hand side, you looking up, slightly seated position would be able to go right, okay, gonna go left around here. So that's why vision is really important. Um, particularly when we come to vision, keeping our head up, we can see that we have to go back and then it means that we open up the pitch a lot more. As well as vision, in dribbling that sense in having our head up. There is also vision on the ball itself. So this is where I'm going to do something really weird and it's gonna look really weird. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to basically have my hoodie the other way around. And the reason for this is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly have this here. So this is almost forcing me to not look down because firstly I'll just look straight into my hoodie just like that and I won't be able to see anything. So this is trying to encourage us, even the vision starts in that peripheral and particularly when we've got the ball. So obviously if I have the ball here, I, I cannot see the ball now. Yes I can see it on the camera but I can't see the ball here so uh, I mean I'd have to use the shadow for example but I even can't see that. That's what makes it really difficult, so that's why we don't want to have it around here because you firstly lose that vision up here and secondly you're more likely to kick the ball. So this is where our ball vision comes into play as well. So especially with this, where I can see it is just about there. So the idea of even obviously when you're dribbling, it starts really really narrow. And it starts straight in front of you. So having the ball out in front of you, just slightly, just to the right, for example, obviously this is our um, open side. And just having it in front of you there, it means that you have to lift your head up because you, otherwise you're gonna lose track of the ball, maybe dribbling like this, and it's like, oh, where's the ball gone? So that's automatically lifts the head into that position so you can go, yeah, okay, I'm going to dribble around this cone. Okay, someone said back left. And it means that it's a lot easier to keep the ball under control, but also know where these options are as well. And trying to do something as straightforward as dribbling can actually help us uh, with that vision and stopping us getting caught within our own feet. So again, just going back, to the dribbling drill. Just making it a little bit easier to have the ball out in front of us. Just the way my hoodie is. 
Um, so use the, be creative, use tools around you um, to try and help this. But even dribbling, so I can't dribble like this anymore. So I'm having to have the ball out in front of me. So again, we talked very, very early on about that comfort zone and uh, kind of where that is in the box around us. So I have the yoga mat originally and kind of where in that box you feel comfortable with. And particularly in hockey now with this vision, we want to have the ball up so it allows us to have this vision around the ball. I kind of half mentioned it when we were doing the rollouts, but this is where vision and actually thinking a little bit more about vision comes into play especially with just really close. So all this week is just trying to practice as best as you can, having that vision there. And you can use this to start off with this dribbling. And if you've got someone else in the house, then create that box and get them to shout out instructions to you and uh, trying to mix it up and going forward, right, forward, left, back, left, back, right. But even doing that um, with kind of say a target there and just doing it without a stick and a ball so I'll show you what I mean by that and uh, this is quite a good drill to use actually so it's just running but say the focus is going to be the ball which is going to be here and the idea is to stay facing forwards so I can see the ball at all times so the idea is say go front left, front right, back left, back right. So the idea is to go down, go back to the middle, go to the right, go back to the middle, go back left, go back to the middle and go back right and go back to the middle. The idea is I'm always trying to look at that ball. I'm always concentrating on that ball. And the idea is to keep your head up. Especially when you go in here, when we're going in for tackles, you're obviously going lunging right and left. So try and practice as well that lunging so again starting to think kind of a little bit more outside of hockey skills and looking at a little bit more of the mental side or the more mental uh, side of the game so have a few practices of some of those drills that i've done in this session and then we're going to do a challenge based off vision tomorrow so look forward to that